Okay, okay, so today we're gonna do an Overwatch list updated season, what season, what, dude, it's like season 562, what is it, it's like season 31? I believe, I believe it's season 31, this is an updated Overwatch meta best characters that you're possibly gonna be able to play in order to climb and become the best player you could possibly be. Obviously, it might be a bit biased, depending, but you guys can let me know in the comments right now, am I wrong? If you feel like catching all of these moments live, you can always come check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Warren. You're always welcome. Let's, uh, let's do it in order, obviously. Um, I just reset it, so I think Soldier right now, of all the hitscan characters, I actually think he's pretty good. Uh, I don't want to put him A tier. I want to save A tier for, like, good characters. I'm gonna put him B tier, okay? I think Orisa right now will always be a consistent... A tier. Actually, you know, I'm gonna put A tier for Orisa. So I think Soldier is B tier, and why he's very mid is because he's great for hitting off angles. He's great for finding angles and getting in and out of situations while, while um, you know, ball is so strong. It's, it's great to get away. You can self-heal. You can out-heal his damage. And Visor, with the current buff, being that Visor has no range, is actually pretty fire. I think um, I think him having no no uh, dr damage drop off on Visor is actually kind of busted. Arissa is A tier, I believe, because Arissa is a consistent meta pick and a double shield. Like you can run double shield, you can go Arissa Hog and land really big um, pull hooks, and I'll explain why that is. Because I think Hog in recent light has been pretty good. We'll get to that. That's towards the end of the tier list. Now, I'm going to put Zarya in an A tier, but I'd say lower in A tier. Um, and not as good as Orisa, because Zarya... Actually, you know what? I'm going to drop her down to B tier. And the reason why is she's only really viable with Winston um, Zarya, double bubble, which is super strong uh, if played correctly. Now, that's the kicker. And the problem is, if you're playing double bubble and you're saving resources for Winston, what that means is that you're not saving resources for your back line. Okay, we're gonna move on to Torb. Now, this is one of those uh, picks that that I know not everybody is gonna agree with because he's such an obscure pick. I think Torbjorn is such a good poke damage um, while you don't necessarily have to do anything fancy, right? It's the same concept as Orisa. You don't have to be a fancy player. You can find certain turn spots that, that elevate your gameplay. Uh, and it's not hard to search up on YouTube good turret spots. It really only takes about 30 seconds of your time. I think that's Torb right now, especially in combination with Hanzo, Echo, uh, Cassidy. It's great anti-dive, and a lot of people play Hammond, especially in lower ranks. So Torbjorn, super consistent, great at keeping your backline alive. Forces the other DPS to look at your turret, which obviously takes away from their focus on the team fight. I think Torb is super, super strong, and I recommend the character for like any lower rank player. Even higher rank players play Torb. Even and you got to put your ego aside. I'm sorry for interrupting I'll shut up and let the video play after reminding you to subscribe and ring the bell so you can keep up with every new video But that's not all if I were you I would join the discord server so you could get to know me and the entire community The link is in the description below uh, Sigma S tier. I mean I think Sigma does everything that every other tank does but just better in one hero and his ultimate will always be super strong. I mean, just like 50% of all HP is just crazy and it's easy team wipe. Um, I think Sigma is super strong. I think the CC that he provides is also very strong. Sigma Ball, Sigma Orisa, Sigma Diva is fine. Um, Sigma Hog is ridiculous. Very, very strong. I think that Sigma is super good. I think Sigma is better than Torb though, so I'll put him... I'll put him up there. I think Soldier is better than Zarya. Remember that it's in order, okay? I'm gonna try to make it in order in each and every individual tier. Okay, Reaper, honestly, at the moment, if you're running six, uh, six man, it's good, which is like a Moira dive with Reaper. It's actually strong, but in ranked, how many people actually run a consistent six man? Uh, I would argue probably about 5%. So I, I'm just going to put Reaper in D tier. I don't think he's very good. I think he has a really big headshot hitbox. And while Hanzo is as strong as he is, I don't think Reaper is like the best pick. You really need your team to be pushing into fights with you in order to win those fights. Reaper is a D tier in my opinion. Chat, how do you... Oh, there you go. Add row below. X out on that. We're going to click settings and we're going to call this F tier. Oh, I don't know what's going on. We're going to click F tier because I think F tier is really, really important. Because that is the that is the dog tier. All right, so Baptiste, um, I, I would I would consider an instant S tier. I don't think that's really debatable at the moment. Ah, eh, maybe even eight. No, it's an S tier pick, bro. I think Bap is so universal and he's such a consistent support to play. 
And just his Immortality Field alone counters a lot of ultimates. And that, in itself, off cooldown, is really broken. Okay, Cassidy, this is where it's going to get really interesting. Because I feel like the damage falloff um, changes actually really hurt Hitscan as a whole. I would argue at the moment... Were you born stupid? Like, actually, were you born dumb? I want to know. Because if, if, if that's how you're f***ing raised, I'm going to raise my kid to do whatever the f*** you didn't do. I think Soldier is currently better than Cassidy. Uh, not by a long shot. I'm considering putting him in B tier, but I'm going to put C tier for now. I think he's very mid. I think that unless you're running Rush, Cassidy doesn't get as much value anymore. After the falloff changes, I don't think Cassidy is S tier. Most of the good players don't play Cassidy. He's not even, he doesn't output enough damage at range to even kill an Echo. It, it's, it's, it's a wrap. I guess if you're talking in terms of all ranks, I'm going to put him B tier, but I'm thinking in terms of top 500. Guys, I'm thinking in terms of top 500 and, and I'm going to put him C tier. I think Ana right now is B tier, but top of B tier. I think she enables Winston. I think she builds alt really fast, which is super strong against poke because you can not engage in the fight for a minute or 45 seconds and you can have nano right away. Which is really, really good. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Okay, currently I think Mei is F tier. Of all the DPS in the game, I think she probably gets the least amount of value. I think you can you can run a better rush comp than, than cast Mei at the moment. I don't think Mei gets that much utility. Especially while Orisa is as good as she is. Orisa is just kind of an immediate counter to Mei. I don't think she gets uh, very much value. I think that, I think that um, she's probably one of the worst projectiles in the game at the moment. There are 100% better options in almost every single situation. We're going to move on to Pharaoh, which you guys have seen me play a lot. So I feel like I finally should be able to have an opinion on the character. I think Pharaoh is not... I, I think she's better than Reaper right now, especially with the falloff changes. I think if you're the best Pharaoh in the game, you could be A tier. If you're an average Pharaoh player, which most people are, I want to put her D tier. She, she is very average. I think that if you're dumping resources into her, like a Zen Orb and a Mercy Pocket or Nanos on Pharah, she could be super strong. But outside of that, you know, like if you're trying to enable your tanks and you have a Pharah, you're, you're usually running Mercy, who's not the best support right now. She's good, but she's not the best support right now. I think that, um, I don't think, I don't think Pharah's the best. Doomfist. I think Doom is pretty bad right now. However, the tournament, like, if you're playing against the best Doom players in the world and they have amazing rollouts and they, right, like, they, they play for bugs and diags that nobody has ever heard of before, you know, abusing map design, like, of course, they're going to be good. They're going to be frustrating to play against, but I don't know if that necessarily means he's, like, a big meta heavy pick. I want to say that he's better than Reaper. He's definitely better than Reaper right now. I, I think he might be a bit better than Pharah. I don't want to put him on the same level as Cass. I still think, like, you can run, like, a Zen Brig with a Doom and get a lot a lot of value. So, we're going to put him at the top of D tier. I don't think... Yeah, he's better than Farah. I think he's better than Reaper. I don't think he's as good as Cassidy. I might bump him up to C tier, depending on, on where we take this tier list. So. Diva. Now, Diva S tier. The reason why, she fits into so many comps. Rush with Rhine Diva. Orisa Diva is super strong. Sigma Diva is pretty strong. Uh, but mo most importantly... Winston Diva and Ball Diva. I think both of those comps right now are very strong. Ball Diva in particular. Winston Diva is, is good, but it depends on the quality of the Diva. Hammond, right up there. Oh, now we should uh, organize this. So I think Hammond is S tier. I think Hammond is better than Sigma. I think Diva is also better than Sigma. I think this is like. I think this in order makes a lot of sense. I think Hammond Diva right now are much better than Double Shield. I think it requires a lot less resources while getting even more value. Um, Junkrat. Now, I believe that spam is super strong, especially, especially in double shield. Do I think Junkrat gets more value than Hanzo? No. We will talk about Hanzo a little bit later on and why I have such, um, a personal vendetta against the hero. But I think Junkrat right now, uh, I, I, I'm gonna put him in C tier. I don't want Cassidy to be alone. So, I think he's I think he's worse than Cassidy. I think he's better than Doomfist. I think that's a really comfortable spot. Uh, I think Reinhardt at the moment is probably a C tier. And the re he's very mid. Because if you're playing a really great game on Rhine, you can tell. What is the likeliness of you getting a god tier Reinhardt that's just slamming and blocking shatters left, right, and center? And building all charge that quickly? It's it's very unlikely. I, th I think Rhine is... like. 
you have to dump resources into the character, one, for him to get value. Typically, you want to run Lucio, and Lucio right now, in my opinion, is the worst support. Let's talk about Winston. So, I mentioned Winston Diva. I mentioned Winston Zarya. I think Winston's really strong. Uh, if I kind of want to put him top of B tier, because I don't think you can put him on the same tier as, as Orisa and feel okay with that. I don't know if he's better than Ana. For now, let's just leave it at, at this. Let's leave it at this, and let's hope for the best. Now, this is, I think, what everybody's been waiting for. Zen and Brig. Zen is so greedy but outputs so much team-wide damage and, 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 you know, like, basically forces synergy. Bro, I personally believe that Zen is top of S tier. But he's not alone. Don't worry. My, my boy Zen is definitely not alone. I think Brig is currently... Ooh, this is tough. They, they share similarities, sort of, kind of. Um, and right now, Brig, Zen, together, is wildly busted. I want to put... Zen as the best character in the game right now, not Brig, because I think if it wasn't for Zen, oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. Oh, I'm, I, I, sorry, I'm tripping over my words right now because like I'm trying to think about their viability in multiple comps. Zen is very good. Um, do I think that he that he offered like Brig can play with Ana, Brig can play with just about any support right now, and Zen Zen plays well with Mercy, Zen plays well with with Bap, especially with Bap, and especially with Brig. I don't know. I think they're both kind of in the same boat where you can either run like bab zen or or zen i don't know brig is brig is the reason why zen in that composition is as good as uh, he is anyways i don't think i really need to explain why brig is busted she offers peel that your tanks won't do echo echo and tracer man they really put all the busted characters together on this list echo at the moment um you know i'm, I'm gonna mix this around i'm gonna mix this around i know i said i was gonna change the order later into the video we're going to put Torb at top of A tier. I'm going to put Echo in S tier. I think it's only fair to do that because obviously Torb is not hard meta. Whereas Echo, if you play Echo and you're playing it into a very consistent composition, the likeliness of you losing is very low. If you're good at Echo, you're, you're going to offer a lot of tank bust in combination with Zen. Um, it's kind of hard to not play well on Echo. All right, Tracer, Tracer, moving on, moving on. I think Tracer is very good still. I think Tracer Echo in particular is extremely strong. And Tracer Sombra is very good as well. Tracer Ash is also super solid. Um, but you still have to be really good at the game. And that's where I feel like Torb and Orisa kind of have the edge. Is that Tracer, you, you have to be good. You have to be good. If you are not good, the other team is going to bait out your blinks and your recalls. And you're going to get absolutely destroyed. And that's kind of what happened to me in the tournament. I played Tracer and I got destroyed. My players infinitely better than me and and with that level of mechanical skill i think it would just be unfair to put her s tier um but i definitely think she's she's here she's 100 at the top of this tier list ash um i think right now ash is maybe a little bit better than cast but i don't think by much i'm either gonna put her at bottom of b tier or i'm gonna put her at top of c tier right now i'll put her bottom of b tier because i think she is mid she still gets a lot of value especially with zen brig and Zen Mercy, so I think it would be unfair, and even in a double shield like Bab Zen, you know, you can output a lot of damage, um, Dynamite is still very strong with Poke, Mercy, now, okay, this is where it gets a little weird, because typically, if you're running Mercy, and not Brig, like, if you're running Mercy Zen over, over Zen Brig, that in itself is kind of a mistake, but you still get a lot of value, like, if you're running mercy echo zen you're gonna output so much tank bus especially if you're running tanks that are self-sufficient like ball i want to put her bottom of a tier i think she's not as good as tracer i think she's better than winston i think mercy is really strong right now um to the point where we have to start looking at nerfing her damage boost over nerfing every other character that she pockets sombra uh i think sombra is really only viable with sombra tracer hammond diva zen brig like i, I mean that comp in itself the fundamentals of that comp are so strong and you elevate your balls gameplay even more um just by hacking health packs alone but i still think she requires good mechanical skill good timing um and good resource management good discipline good patience which i don't think a lot of players have i think she's i think bottom of b tier maybe top uh she's better than soldier right now in ranked this is based on rank not based on like overwatch league you know what I mean? It would be unfair for me to base it on Overwatch League. I have been playing a lot of Sombra and Ranked, and it definitely, like, defines fights. I don't want to say she's better than Ash right now, though. Like, if you're good at Sombra, absolutely. If you're not, and you're an average player, 
Maybe not. Genji, uh, I'm gonna put bottom of C tier. I think Genji suffers from the same problem that other characters in C tier suffer from, where you have to base the entire comp around it. Otherwise, you're not gonna get value. Like, if you're not playing for the nano blade dives, typically it's not gonna work out in your favor unless you're like an insane Reddit Genji and you're popping off. But that doesn't really happen all that often, and it's pretty easy to counter Genji just by going Brig Torb. That's the truth. Symmetra. Um, Symmetra is a difficult one. I think Symmetra on some maps is basically a guaranteed win. Like if you're playing Li Zhang or if you're going Nepal, I think there's a lot of comps you can run Symmetra with, especially if you're taking point and setting up before the other team has a chance of getting on point to brawl. However, you have to remember there are a lot of maps in the game. Do I think she's viable on every single map? No. Do I think she's viable against every single comp? No. You really need your team to play with you, and thus, I don't think she's the best in ranked, because half of the time, you got motherfuckers with private profiles out of team chat, not communicating, not focusing. You know what I mean? Uh, so I, I don't think Sim is like, she's strong. Again, I think she's gonna be around here. I think she's better than Junkrat at the moment not as good as Cass. And now, the moment that I in particular have been waiting for, because I know this is probably the most debated conversation we have on our stream every single day that I go live at twitch.tv slash warn, Hanzo. I think Hanzo's broken. I think Hanzo offers so much spam and information. His ultimate is pretty lackluster at the moment, while Zarya's not very good. Um, but I think Hanzo, his information alone, especially when there's so many choke fights, you can see everything. It's Widow's ult off cooldown, one, and two, you just bust shields. If, if both teams are mirroring double shield, and you have the Hanzo, and they don't, if you discord Orisa, you melt shield, you force lamp, and you can kill Orisa with just storm arrow. He does so much damage, and I, and I hate it. I don't think he's as good as Echo. Um, I think he's better than Torb. I'm gonna put him top of A tier. I think he's better than all the characters in A tier. I don't think he's better than the S tier characters, though. Widow, you know, with Ball being so good and Double Shield being so good, I don't think Widow's very strong. I, I, I want to put her in D tier. But then again, like, if you're a really god tier Widow, yeah, she's gonna be really strong. Obviously not on every single map. There are her limitations, because not every map has the range um, to make her viable. Uh, I think Snipers are still always gonna be strong. You know what? I'm gonna put I'm gonna put her right there, smack dab in the middle of C. I think she's better than Junkrat still. I think she's not as good as Symmetra and, and Cassidy. We can leave it at that. Okay, Bastion F tier. We got our second F tier hero. Actually, we have one more F tier hero, and we'll get to that. I think uh, I think Bastion basically deciding the entire composition, and it's such a flimsy composition as well. It's pretty easy to work off angles to make sure that it like it topples and it just doesn't work out. Um, there are the off that sometimes Bastion works, but it's pretty easy to steamroll if you if you can expect it um, I don't I, I think Bastion and May are, are pretty bad right now uh, Moira I want to put uh, at the bottom of D tier. I think the six man characters are just not that good I think in ranked six man doesn't work the way people want it to unless you're at the top of ladder with the best players who have actually ran six men in a tournament setting or in a league setting, like then it can maybe work, but even then, I wouldn't, I wouldn't force it. Um, let's let's leave Lucio for last and let's move on to Roadhog. Roadhog is good right now. He's very good right now, and the reason why is so many people are playing self-sustained characters, and Hog kind of falls into that. Um, he, he, just the one-shot potential is really strong for opening up fights, and he just has a lot of live. Like he just lives pretty long. Uh, Whole Hog is still pretty average. But I think he's good, and I think he's actually a problem in top 500 right now. I've heard since his buff, his, um, as in, like, he doesn't give the other team as much alt charge when he's using breather. Or just in general. Wait, isn't it a general buff? Like, even without using breather, breather, he doesn't give alt charge? Anyways, we'll, um, I, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put him top of B tier. I think he's really good anti-dive, kind of the same situation as Torb. But I don't know if I want to put him on the level of Hanzo, Torb, Arissa, or Tracer, and Mercy. Now, the last character I've been waiting for, and honestly, I've consistently had problems with him in ranked, aka other teammates playing him. Uh, I think Lucio is F tier. I think he's better than May. But Lucio, as a, he's kind of like a speed bot right now. Uh, he doesn't out heal Briggs Inspire, not in strength or in range. Um, I think Lucio kind of forces Rush, and while Rush isn't that good, uh, like, Ryan, again, is a very, like, mid-tier hero. Whereas you can play other tanks and other supports. I think this is pretty fair. 
I don't, I don't think the six-man characters are very good, like Reaper, Moira, Lucio. I think they all fall into the same category where it's so flimsy, and if you don't have the timing just right, it doesn't work. You need your team in sync in order for Lucio to work, or you need to be the, be re the best Reddit Lucio. It it's like one or the other. But this is my tier list on the best characters in Season 31. I, I, I think it, you could probably shift it around a little bit. Um, depending on what rank you're in, I would say. I think this is, you could say it's a bit biased. Um, but let me know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. What hero would you change? And with who? Let me know. Anyways, I think that's all. Not bad. Well, it seems you made it to the end of the video. If you haven't liked and commented yet, you can spare a moment to do that before you go. See you next time.